Tonight, we're learning more about 31 year old Megan Montgomery found shot and killed in a Mountain Brook parking lot. Good evening. I'm Jack Royer and I'm Sherry Jackson. The suspect and victim's estranged husband, who was a former police officer, remains in custody tonight. CBS 42 News reporter Michael Clark joins us now in studio with the latest on the investigation. Michael, have the charges been filed yet? Well, within the last hour, the Mountain Brook police chief told us that officers will try to obtain warrants in that case tomorrow morning, but tonight Montgomery's friends are remembering her life with plenty of questions about how it ended so soon. She's tough to describe because there's nobody like Megan. She was just so kind, so loving. Pictures of John Michael Criswell and Megan Montgomery smiling as students at Belmont University years ago. Now precious memories after Montgomery's death over the weekend. It's really hard to even understand what happened, why it happened. And I'm, I already miss her. A ton. Criswell says Montgomery began to withdraw from some friendships after her marriage to former Hoover police officer Jason McIntosh. Criswell says he continued to check in with Montgomery after learning she'd been shot during an incident with McIntosh earlier this year, but no one was charged. And it's just a complete failure of a system that's meant to protect those who are abused and those who, you know, are, are in situations that are very sad and very unfortunate, and, and it failed her. And I think that there's definitely a, an extra level there when, you know, you're married to a person who's meant to protect. Montgomery filed for a divorce earlier this year. McIntosh resigned from the Hoover Police Department and was later arrested on a domestic violence charge in May. Tonight, while Criswell waits to learn more about what happened, he hopes others hear Montgomery's story before it's too late. If there was any struggle, there's enough to know that she is the victim and there's no way around that. She is a victim of domestic abuse at the hands of a protector and he's still here and she's gone. Mm. Now, McIntosh's attorneys, Tommy Spina, had no updates today, but did release a statement last night saying, in part, quote, this case stands for the preposition that domestic violence is a real societal problem that is gender neutral and needs to be addressed in a relationship at the first sign of aggression by either party. Death should not be the result of a relationship gone bad. McIntosh remains in Mountain Brook Police custody. Still no charges at this hour, but we're told that could change tomorrow. Live at the studio tonight, Michael Clark, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.